When working with individuals with developmental and cognitive disabilities, differentiation when providing instruction is key. Within our ABC program at Hendrick Hudson, our learners have a wide range of interests, strengths, and areas of need, even within the eight students enrolled in each class. Whenever I am doing a social skills group in our program, I personally tailor lessons based on the needs of that classroom. In consultation with the teacher and related service providers, I consider each individual who it will be presented to in the format of the presentation. Will the student be able to read written examples designed for an effective lesson, or will they need visuals and lots of prompting? How do comprehension questions need to be formatted for a learner who has echolalia versus a student with higher language needs? How can I group individuals with diverse needs together for small group instruction? Recently, I worked with students at Blue Mountain Middle School on a size of the problem lesson series. Over the course of several lessons, I unfolded the concept for the students and gave opportunities for practicing their skills in real world situations. For example, I gave a student who loves to play basketball, one of the examples included this visual for representing no basketball today. Typically, this may produce a big reaction from this student to be denied access to this activity, maybe because it was raining on the outside court or the gym was not available. But through practice, we were able to help the student understand that this is a small problem or maybe a medium problem and not a big problem. Tailoring instruction to learning needs of our most impacted students is critical to their success and can also be the most rewarding part of our work.